Hi, this is Nanette Hosenfeld with the Great Basin Smoke Dispersion Briefing for Monday, March 27, 2017. Looking at precipitation over the past uh, 7 and 30 days, you can really see how March dried out. Looking at this map on the right, uh, this is showing precipitation over the past 30 days, how it compares to normal. And really, the majority of the Great Basin was below normal for the 30-day period. However, over the past seven days, we have transitioned to a wetter pattern and we're starting to make up for some of that lack of precipitation. You can see uh, quite a few areas of the Great Basin are above normal over the past seven days. Uh, the satellite today shows a system across the Great Basin that is bringing uh, clouds and unsettled weather to much of the area uh, with some more moisture on its way behind this current system. For today, we are looking at good to excellent mixing across the majority of the area. The only exception to that is portions of Utah. Uh, and that is because we have these pretty healthy transport winds across portions of Nevada. We also have great mixing heights across portions of Nevada and southeastern Utah. Moving into Tuesday, mixing will improve over Utah, though we are expecting uh, conditions to decrease across western Nevada. Uh, transport winds will be much lighter across western Nevada tomorrow, while they are expected to increase further east into Utah and portions of Idaho and Nevada on Tuesday. Moving into Wednesday, we do see a decrease in mixing across uh, much of the Great Basin, and that is as uh, high pressure briefly moves into the Great Basin on Wednesday. Looking at that in more detail, uh, with a high pressure in place on Wednesday, transport winds will be quite light, and we will see some lower mixing heights. The Utah Forecast Clearing Index from the National Weather Service in Salt Lake City shows a similar trend uh, with good to excellent mixing on Monday and Tuesday with that downward trend across the majority of the area on Thursday. The three-day precipitation accumulation forecast uh, shows precipitation across the majority of the Great Basin. The exception to that would be across portions of central and southern Nevada. As we move into Thursday, we look at another storm system making its way into the Great Basin. Uh, with uh, transport winds ahead of and along with that system, we will see good to excellent mixing across the majority of the area on Thursday. That holds true into Friday as that system remains overhead. Uh, we are looking at good to excellent mixing across the majority of the area on Friday. On Saturday, we could see things start to decrease a bit across the north as high pressure no noses into the northern parts of the area. And that downward trend looks to continue into Sunday, although at seven days out, confidence in this forecast is pretty low. In the four to five day period, we continue to be wet. Uh, you can see some pretty impressive precipitation accumulations forecast in that period across the Great Basin. Finally, looking at the eight to 14 day period, the Climate Prediction Center is calling for above normal temperatures and above normal precipitation across pretty much the entire area. So that's it. If you have any questions, please feel free to contact us. Our information is on the screen, and you can also find us on Twitter. Thanks.